our normal chest x-ray once again is in front of us for reference and please pay attention to both hemi diaphragms both sides very nice and smooth shape usual crescent shape as it should be and let me show you another chest x-ray now look at this chest x-ray look at the diaphragms on both sides right and left the left hemi diaphragm is normal this is the left side also notice there is a slight loss of lung volume on right side so the left lung looks a bit bigger slightly bigger than the right lung but the the main thing that should catch your attention is this bulge a focal bulge almost in the middle of the right hemi diaphragm looks like it looks like as if something is either pushing it up or there's something that is pulling it up from the thoracic cavity the x-ray is the classic example of eventration of diaphragm this is known as eventration of diaphragm in very common language it is thinning of diaphragmatic muscle the whole or part of the diaphragmatic muscle is replaced by thin fibroelastic tissue with a degree of loss in contractility as the diaphragm is weakened it is pulled superiorly by the respiratory efforts creating unique shapes such as the one visible on this chest x-ray the disorder can be congenital or acquired please keep in mind it is different to diaphragmatic hernia in which case diaphragm has no continuity there is a hole in diaphragm versus in eventration there is always a continuity of the diaphragm without any break so it still separates the thoracic and peritoneal cavities congenital eventration usually results either from male development of diaphragmatic muscle or from the absence of phrenic nerves the most common cause of acquired eventration is injury to the phrenic nerve either as a result of intervention i.e. as a result of surgery or from any other condition that can compromise phrenic nerves the loss of contractility causes atrophy with the elevation of hemi diaphragm as in this case now this x-ray also shows signs of uh, previous surgery these are external sutures the patient has had open thoracic surgery you can also see a lima graft to the coronary artery thank you very much